classic Daisuke's vision moment, but uh, our competitors are hungry. We have Mike Saftig and Volteon getting right to it. Yep, Mike Saftig on the soul, Volteon on the chip. Both mains here for these characters. Highly aggressive gameplay going to be coming out. Can't wait. And he does have uh, Find Your One Way rocking. And half HP already evaporated for Volteon. Burst gone on both players. Immediately, lots of lots of swinging going on right here. Burst, or, or rather, meter advantage for Mike Saftig. And that might mean this combo is going to be up and No, no, no. Couldn't pick up off the 5k. Excuse me. Ooh. I would have got hit by that for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> With grab, PRC grab. grab it's grab. unblockable. Yeah. Such Who good navigation hold? there from Mike getting out of the corner, though. Things are looking very rough for Volteon, but it's it's all turned around here in just a couple of grabs. And we'll see if this door RC is going to be enough to do it. I don't think it is. Grandpa's got uh -oh. guns. Oh my word! The shark. Oh <laughs> PRC. It, it was seven. invisible. Nerf the stage. Unbelievable. <laughs> you, that is so rare. I know Volteon's going to be feeling themselves after that one. Chip players that was live nutty. for that. Yeah, I wonder what that was supposed to cover. I mean, it clearly it covered that, but I, I doubt that was the uh, labbed circumstance. Maybe it's supposed to cover the, the BRC4 that a lot of people do post wall break. I wonder. Great conversion hmm. there coming out from Mike Safting, by the way. Optimal on the counter hit 2D. Once again with the burst to end meter advantage. Oh, and, oh, and with chip health, I think that's it. Oh, my oh, word. Yeah, yeah just evaporating the volcanic. there. I was gonna say like an hour ago, but so much has happened uh, back then. Uh, like trading with someone can be such a difficult situation in Strive because uh, plenty of moves will put you in, you know, launched or crumpled or spinning states and stuff like that. And you'll trade and you'll just, you'll still be minus a billion off it. Exactly. And even if you're not, there's such an uneven distribution of like how good certain moves are to throw out after a trade. For example, Naga can can send out the sandals off of pretty much any situation. <laughs> send the sandals. Others My boy got the clogs on. Mike's oh. have to back against the wall here, though. Got to be very careful. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Trying to call. I, that was some level two right there. I think. Sorry to interrupt. I think. No, no Volteon, Yeah. So Mike right there probably thinking that Volteon would jump, expecting a wild throw from that PRC. So Mike Saftig opts for the backdash, but Volteon seeing through that and sending the mash anyway to take that game. Just wanted to. Yeah, I was going to say rare footage quick. of a uh, a chip player playing neutral, but that was a, a very in depth look at it. Game one going to Volteon actually showing us a little bit of why this player upset Aaron Demack, the reigning champion, managing to get game one off of Mike Saftig. Yeah, Volteon is on a tear here through a uh, high side of uh, winners, sending uh, a couple of our uh, previous, you know. Grand champs and, and uh, top eight competitors down to losers. Uh, you know they got the chance to come back, but Volteon's looking very nice for I think their first tournament with us. Yeah, I, I can't re recall having seen Volteon in an I guess tournament before, but so far playing very very well for sure. Ooh, that is not going to happen post patch. Uh, Mike has seen the command grab before. Yeah, I, I can't see that. <laughs> Mike just that did something invisible. I cannot do. Invisible, yeah. Oh, Same. tough, the wall break. Ooh, no nice wall break. Nice mix-ups coming out. Not yet. Again. There's the wall break. Yep. Be weary of the positive infinite pressure. You get touched here once, and it's pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, Mike's got one bar to get something going, but... All right, manages to force Volteon to the corner. That should be it. Going to confirm with the meter. Yep, Mike's after going down, losing the round. Round start optional. Very patient for Mike Saftig. Just a small walk back into a crouch block. You can see Volteon trying to get some mix-up started here. Once again, with a wall break. Not only that, but getting a hard knockdown off of this super. And although you won't immediately have enough meter for positive infinite pressure, you still have to be very, very weary of it. I get... Oh, wow. Yeah, just a, a, a perhaps a emotional DP. That was quite far. <laughs> We've all been there. All right, manages to move on out of the corner. And you can see Mike just running all over the place when Volteon goes up in the air. I don't think that's a bad option by any means. But once again, back against the wall is Mike Safting here. That is so, drills blow me up so bad. Like chip drills, I, I got nothing against them. And clearly Mike yeah. Safting is having a bit of trouble uh, dealing with them as well. Very character dependent how well you can anti-air that. I definitely think Sol is going to be one of the ones that kind of struggles to deal with anti-airing the drill. And so we see Mike just running under it a lot of the time. Yeah, it would have to be a, a, a just a crisp 6P would be my guess, but uh, very risky behavior. 
Yep, you can try 5p or even close slash if you want the really high reward option, but yeah, it's it's just so hard to time, and if you lose it, you're you're put in the disadvantage with the chip vortex pressure. Yeah, I think you'd have to be a real sicko to go for close slash on that. Uh, bra Wait, braver this is method. Mike Saptic, we've got out here though. You never <laughs> we have the sicko. <laughs> Let's see. We Mike Saptic is actually very very great late in the sets in my experience. Great at adapting and bringing back pressure, like we were saying a little bit earlier. And so this player being down, that's when we see the Saptic install. It's famous. It is, yeah, it is so interesting to me because, like, of course you'd think, like, oh, you're, that's when your uh, psychology is going to be at its worst. But, like, I, I can't even tell what Mike is doing different sometimes, but will suddenly s seem to just become a different player out of nowhere. It's, uh, so it's very far, inspiring. Yeah, it's, it's going very well so far. Mike Saftig on his way to taking the first round here. Generating just enough meter for that mix-up there. Great recognition on the BR2, giving enough for that fast RC. Yeah, just a couple of clean conversions, getting Chip all the way to the corner, and then some, you know, RC schnastiness. And so Mike is looking very nice. Ultion's not done quite yet, though. This is a scary situation. Meter burnt for the mix-up. Mike managing to block it, but not quite fully. What was that? <laughs> very, I was about to say Mike finally out of the corner, but uh, no such luck. Yep, Voltion bringing Mike right back. Good recognition on the BR1, not having the meter to follow it up. Yeah, it seems like when Mike can get... Oh, no. Speaking of emotional DPs, I, I cannot imagine that that was... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not the optimal place. Uh, I'm interested in what right the there. move was, because he's tried that two or three times. I wonder if that's something Mike has labbed and has worked and it's just not hitting today, because he, he's keep, he keeps sending it. That didn't stop Mike from having a great start to the second round. Oh, trying no, to no bait full the burst a little bit there. here. Yep, great, great there block. It is. Yep, recovery on Souls S normals, famously low, great for baiting burst. Mike Saftig on the board now, and we see the Saftig sweep in progress. Maybe I <laughs> will have to see how this progresses from here. It seems like once he can get Voltian to sit still, like you know, he can begin to apply the game plan and play his game. But the problem is, you know, getting a chip player to sit still. All, all of this, you know, air movement is something uh, he's really struggling to deal with. I see him trying to represent uh, jump dust more often, trying to get a good air to air hit, but mm -hmm. finding it very difficult to just just pin chip down. I think Mike has gotten a little more patient on defense compared to the first two games. We just need to clean up a couple of those emotional DPs, as, as they're so called, and I think that we're probably looking a lot better here. And there it is, 5k anti-air on the drill. Let's see what kind yeah, of conversion Behind get. soul. Very good reward out of that, though. You got almost half HP and as well the burst. Mike electing to use his burst as well. Both players betting that uh, they will come out on the top of this and make their burst mean something. Mike Saftig does have the, the meter advantage here, but Chip just builds it so fast and that meter advantage is evaporated. We'll see how much damage Voltron can get here. Is this death? This is death. Wow. I know people get annoyed when that happens to them, but I love that route so much. Yeah, you just get <laughs> All the way up way the up wall. The so toxic. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2S2H on with absolute chip classic right there, and Voltron <laughs> again with a lot of advantage. Thrown down to the corner with not a lot of meter to get anything done. Ooh. DP's paying off for Mike Saftig here. Two right there. Chance yeah, he's trying to find the sweetness. Fortunately, first not building up quite in time for Mike there, and meter pretty much to go immediately into the positive. Bonus loops. You have to be so careful. Do not get hit by another 6k. Actually, Voltion is going to end it right here immediately. The burst oh. before the super comes out, though. I was say, Mike has been so starved for meter all round, finally managing to just get a single bar going. Mike Saftig does have a chance here. All it will take is really one good hit. Even a grab at this point will do it. Oh, on the 6k. Ah, uh, boot to the head. The classic <laughs> round ender. And that's tough because uh, pretty much only DP would have gotten Mike Saftig out of that situation because, um, you know, obviously Voltion having meter to, uh, to go into anything if it gets blocked. So tough spot my, for Mike. My option select in that situation is that uh, I'll tell my opponent I thought it was Leo 2D actually. So I made I made the correct decision. I blocked low. Yeah, you were right. You know, the game just kind of scammed you a little bit. That's <laughs> unfortunate. Mike being on another level mentally and, and getting hit by that. So, yeah.
Yeah, Volteon on Antera, though. That's going to be winner's finals for Volteon. Ship stonks going up tomorrow at the same time. So we're already seeing this character is quite strong. And with the added buffs, you might be seeing this character a lot more.